Did you know that the oarfish, also known as the king of herrings, is the world's longest bony fish? It can grow up to 50 feet long. That's about as long as a bowling lane. Incredible, isn't it? The oarfish lives in the deep, dark parts of the ocean, where it feeds on tiny plankton. Scientists believe these majestic creatures have been swimming in our oceans for over 200 million years. Now let's travel from the deep, dark ocean to the dense rainforests of Central Africa to meet the elusive okapi. With its velvet brown body and zebra-like stripes on its legs, the okapi is a striking sight. This unique creature calls the Ituri rainforest its home, where it feeds on leaves, buds, and grasses. The okapi is a living fossil from the Ice Age, its existence predating many species we know today. The okapi, a relic from the Ice Age, continues to thrive in the heart of Africa, a true testament to nature's resilience. Next, meet the octopus, a creature of many talents. With its eight arms and large brain, the octopus is one of the ocean's most intelligent inhabitants. It dines on a seafood platter of crabs, shellfish, and fish. And here's a fun fact. Octopuses have been around for nearly 300 million years, long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. In the forests of North America, there's a nocturnal creature, the owl. This bird of prey has a voracious appetite for small mammals, especially mice. Known for its large eyes and silent flight, the owl is a master of stealth, able to swoop down on its prey without a sound. And here's something you might not know. Owls have been soaring through the night skies for about 60 million years. The owl, a symbol of wisdom, continues its silent hunt, a testament to its long-standing presence in our world. From forests and oceans, we travel to caves in southeastern Europe to meet the Ulm. This peculiar creature, sometimes called a human fish due to its pinkish skin, is a type of salamander that lives its entire life in darkness. The Ulm feeds on small creatures like snails and insects. Believe it or not, Ulms have been living in these caves for over 20 million years. In the alpine meadows of the Olympic Peninsula, we find the Olympic marmot. This large rodent thrives on a diet of plants and occasionally insects. These marmots have a unique distinction. They're found nowhere else in the world except the Olympic Peninsula. Olympic marmots have been residents of this region for at least the last 40,000 years. Finally, let's take a moment to admire the majesty of the orangutan. This awe-inspiring great ape, native to the lands of Indonesia and Malaysia, dwells in the lush rainforests of Borneo and Sumatra. Even though in the Pleistocene era, they spread throughout Southeast Asia and South China, today their range is more limited. Classified under the genus Pongo, orangutans were formerly known as a single species. However, since 1996, they have been differentiated into two distinct species, the Bornean orangutan and the Sumatran orangutan. They are the last standing species of the subfamily Pongini, which included other species such as the three extinct species of the genus Gigantopithecus, featuring the largest known primate, Gigantopithecus blackie. Tracing back to their roots, the ancestors of the Pongani subfamily branched off from the main ape lineage in Africa 16 to 19 million years ago and dispersed throughout Asia. Each of these animals, in their unique ways, contributes to the rich tapestry of life on our planet. From the depths of the ocean to the heights of the mountains, from the darkness of caves to the bright tropical forests, these creatures continue to captivate and inspire us with their beauty and resilience. They remind us of the incredible diversity of life that shares this world with us, each with a story that spans millions of years.